express this ratio in simplest form. Here we have 90 centimeters to 2.4 meters. And our goal is to express this ratio in simplest form. Notice that the units are not the same, the units are different. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take 2.4 and convert it into centimeters so that the units would be the same. So we have 2.4 meters and we have to convert that into centimeters. In order to do that, we will use this useful acronym which states, knock him down a minister, don't commit murder. Here, the K stands for kilometers, the M stands for meters, the C stands for centimeters, and the M stands for millimeters. Okay, now what are we gonna do? Notice that we have to move from meters to centimeters. And so that means that we're gonna go from meters to centimeters. We have to move over twice. So there's gonna be one, two, so we move over twice. And so since we move over twice to the right, we have to take 2.4 and multiply it by 100. So 2.4 multiplied by 100 is gonna be equal to 240. And so we have 2.4 meters is equal to 240 centimeters. And so we have 90 centimeters to 2.4 meters. We bring down the 90 centimeters. And we know that 2.4 meters is equal to 240 centimeters. Now the units are the same. And so let's simplify. So what number can go into both 90 and 240? Let's use 10. So we have 90 divided by 10 and 240 divided by 10. And we divide these two. 90 divided by 10 is a nine and 240 divided by 10 is 24. Now we ask ourselves what number can go into both nine and 24? Well, we can use three. So nine divided by three and 24 divided by three. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 24 divided by 3 is definitely 8. And so this is the answer in its simplest form. So this ratio expressed in simplest form is 3 to 8. And that's the answer to this question.